Data Speed and team have been excitedly working away on our autonomous vehicles for the 2020 North American International Auto Show Michigan Mobility Challenge. We wanted to give everyone following along a few updates on our progress, including what sensors we've chosen thus far, our development status on our software and systems, and a little bit of information on the safety monitoring system we plan to implement. We're in the process of locking in which sensors we'll be using on our three AM General MV1 vehicles. We've made the final decision on which LiDAR we'll be using. If you're not familiar, LiDAR is a laser-based technology that will essentially be the eyes of our autonomous vehicle. For 360 degree view of our surroundings, we'll be using two Ouster OS1 units installed on the top of the vehicle with data speed magnetic mounts. On the front of the vehicle, we'll be using Septon LiDARs with more concentrated data for detecting vehicles and other objects ahead. One important step to take before installing autonomous technology in a production vehicle is understanding the power requirements. This is the power needed for both the additional equipment that we plan to use, as well as the vehicle's existing electrical systems. By knowing these requirements, we can design a reliable solution to power and connect the equipment using DataSpeed's power distribution system. The software team is hard at work mapping out the route from airport to downtown, and we're also shoring up our existing control algorithms to drive safely on the freeway. We're driving level three and level four demonstration, but always with the safety driver in the driver's seat. But additionally, because the safety drivers are operating for hours over the course of four days, we're utilizing another level of safety, which is a real-time safety driver monitoring system. So with an algorithm built into a camera facing the drivers, they are monitoring for the drowsiness and the distraction levels of each of the safety drivers. Such a complex project requires an incredibly collaborative team, and that's a quality data speed really takes pride in. We're in the process of assigning roles to everyone involved in the days of the event. That's everyone from our safety drivers to what we call our operations command center that will be monitoring the technical status of the vehicles. Also our pit crew, that's everyone making sure that the vehicles are in tip top shape. And last but not least, our ambassadors. Those are the people making sure that every single rider has the best experience possible. Overall, the team is hard at work developing technology that will showcase what accessible transportation of the future might look like right here in Detroit. Check back in on datasmeeting.com for more project updates.